Hey guys, what's going on? It's Obes Gaming back again with another video. And today, the Adidas Numbers Up promo has come to FIFA 22. And with that, we do have a objectives card, and it is Steven Bergvine from Spurs. So what we'll do is we'll take a look at the cards, have a look at his stats, and then build a squad to get it done as quickly as possible. All right, so jumping into the objectives itself, here he is, Numbers Up Bergvine. And so on this stat. The, uh, the pace is the one that will be getting upgraded the most. So in the first upgrade, he'll go up to 97 pace with all the other stats getting a plus one. And then again, once more to get it to 99 with all the other stats getting another plus one then, I believe. So the objectives themselves, passing prowess, assisting five separate matches in the life at friendly numbers up with 10 players with minimum 75 passing. Okay, so all the outfield players realistically need 75 passing. Fast finishing, scoring five separate matches, numbers up with 10 players, minimum 82 pace in your starting squad. Dribbling delight, so the same again with minimum 80 dribbling 10 players, this is interesting, okay. And then just play five matches gives you a lone version of the card and an electron players pack as well, which is nice. So if we go and take a look at the friendly itself, here we have it, numbers up. So it is max chemistry, which is huge, obviously that makes it an awful lot easier. But still, that does mean you can play players out of position, but still, it is going to be quite a task to get all those players in. But let's build a squad to get this done as quickly as possible. All right. So, firstly, taking a look at the card. He has had quite the upgrade on his 80. He is four-star, two-star. So that two-star weak foot is a bit of a letdown, but obviously he is right-footed, so he's an inverted winger. Uh, five foot ten, high-medium work rate. Into the stats themselves, his pace is absolutely lovely. 94 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. And obviously that is going to get maxed out after the, uh, after the second upgrade. So the, the point is with this, obviously, then you can look to use chem styles in other areas once they do get those upgrades. Shooting's good, finishing a little bit low at 79, but good shot power. Um, passing's decent enough, 85 short passing, good crossing as well for winger, that's all you're really going to care about there. Dribbling is nice, yeah, really nice. 83 agility a little bit low, but the rest of it looks really good. Uh, and stam a little bit low as well. For me, maybe a finisher on this card. Finisher or a sniper for me, um, because, you know, as I said, the pace isn't going to be too much of a problem as soon as it gets that first upgrade. In terms of traits, flare trait and outside the foot shot trait are both really useful, especially considering he is so one foot, the outside the foot shot trait can be quite useful there. But in terms of building a squad for him, um, it is worth noting, obviously, it is max chemistry, but we do have those three cut criteria to hit, which is the um, the 82 pace, the 80 dribbling, and 75 passing. And that is on 10 players. Uh, so with that being said, what you're going to want to do is the keeper is, you know, just use your best keeper. So for me, Campos, they're the hero card. And then across the rest of the team, obviously, you have to meet those three criteria. So you're going to want to look for some quite well-rounded cards. And there's not too many of them in defence. I mean, for example, I do have Tavernier. And Hakimi also works with the pace, the dribbling, and the passing, but there aren't going to be many. So you may want to look to prioritise midfielders in these areas. But for me, as I have Hakimi and Tavernier, I'll, I'll go for Tavernier there. Uh, similarly for left back, again, it, the, the same applies. Luckily for me, my corne works there, so that's who we'll use. But it's worth pointing out for centre back, realistically, there's not going to be many players in the game that are going to fill out those. You know, Van Dijk doesn't. Alaba doesn't just because of the pace, so there's not going to be many players that fulfil this. And you are, you know, as much as you can play anyone you want there, it is still going to be worth, you know, you aren't going to want to be conceding loads and loads of goals in this game realistically. So you're going to want to be using some slightly defensive players. So for me, I'd look at centre mids, particularly CDMs, but I mean, I've converted these up. For me, someone like Onyeka is perfect because he has exactly the, what you need, 82 pace, 80 dribbling, 75 passing is ideal with a shadow. And Tonali, same again. I mean, I appreciate not everyone's going to have these cards, but you will have midfield defence midfield players that do fit this criteria and again it's also worth bearing in mind that in this uh, this objective what you need to do is score an assist so you know you don't have to win obviously having a good defence is a good place to build from but it's the scoring and assisting that's crucial centre mids similarly again because you know not all of them are going to have the pace Kante doesn't for example uh, I have that Florian Verts card that will come in useful but again there's not a huge amount of options so realistically you're probably going to be looking for either all, all out midfielders like Canales or more likely you're, you're going to be looking at cams more than anything or maybe even wingers so you know if you don't have Verts someone like Canales is a great option but I'll stick Verts in there for the other centre mid spot since I don't let's have a look at my wing cards and yeah, there's going to be a lot more options here. Someone like Smith Rowe would be good. Carrasco's great for it. Maybe you want a little bit of an all rounder card, maybe. Rabich would work there, but again, not some great defending. So there's options there. I mean, I think since it, the scoring is the most important thing, we'll go for Carrasco. And with that, obviously, we will put Son out on the left. 
full right midfield, we can go again. It's just about getting those criteria and using the best possible players you have in your club that do fit those criteria. Corona for me, ideal, great all-round card there. And then for the strikers, the card from last week is perfect for this, Antonio, as he does fit all the criteria. Boo as well also fits him, obviously storyline card from last year, so that's another good option. But there's plenty of strikers that should fulfill this for you. So for me, I would go with Antonio, and to match him up up front, it's going to have to be Robbie Keane for me, best striker I have in my club. And you know, as it is Max Kemp, you can use whoever you want as long as they fit that three criteria. But alright guys, so that is the team. And again, as I said, not too worried about centre-backs and even full-backs if you don't have to. If it comes to it, Hail Mary, stick everyone as attacking players and go and get those goals and assists. It doesn't matter if you win or lose, you just have to play five and get the goals and assists. So this should get done fairly quickly. Alright guys, so that brings me to the end. I hope that's helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Alright, peace.